Hi everyone, so I'm gonna show you how to draw a gnome. So we're gonna figure out a spot for the nose. Now, these kind of gnomes, we can't see their eyes. So that's why the nose is all the way kind of towards the bottom, but you wanna leave room for the beard. So that's kind of how far I am from the bottom of the page. Next, we're gonna draw his hat, um, which rests right above the nose where his eyes would be. So I'm back up at the nose and I'm kind of making a curve line on both sides. I'm using pencil because you guys know I like to erase and I erase a lot. And then for the rest of the hat, you wanna come up almost like two parentheses on the sides of that line. And we're gonna kind of make the folds in the hat by coming in and then we're going up. Now this is like a silly hat. I don't know if anyone has seen like these gnomes. Um, this is how I'm decorating my house for the holidays this year. So I've just really obsessed with these kind of gnomes. Um, and their hats are so tall that they kind of stretch and fold and lean in different directions. So you can make yours any way you want. I'm making mine go all the way to the top and then coming back down with a little ball attached to the end. Okay, and then for the beard, I'm coming around the nose and I'm just drawing some lines that tells us this is his beard. So it's wavy, it goes all the way to the bottom of your paper. And I kind of keep it around the hat. You could go outside the hat, but I'm just kind of following a curved line so that it looks like he has a nice full beard going on. All right, so we're gonna grab either a black marker, crayon, even a colored pencil, and I'm going to outline most of my pencil lines, not all of them. So I didn't quite outline the nose all the way. I am outlining the hat, and this is just to make the coloring part easier because I'll be using colored pencils and Sharpies. So we're going down and around, whatever your hat looks like, and the little poof ball on the end. And then I just do parts of the beard because I want the beard to be mostly like gray, like, like a wizard beard type deal thing. So parts of it, I'm skipping some lines. Some of them are thicker, some of them, them are thinner. And then I'm going to be breaking out some markers and colored pencils to color him. Okay, I have a lot of coloring materials here. Um, I have colored pencils, I have Sharpies, I have crayons, I got a little bit of everything. I'm going in and erasing the pencil lines around the hat so it looks a little bit cleaner. And then what I'm going to do is speed this up a bit and I'm going to show you how to layer markers and colored pencils to get some shading in once I get to the hat. Okay, so for the background, I want to make it look like a wood grain. So I'm taking a um, brown thin Sharpie. It doesn't have to be thin. That's just what I had. And I'm creating these horizontal lines, so side to side, across the background to make it look like wood panels. I'm going to be doing a lot with the colored pencil so it actually looks like wood grain. 
but this is the first step if you want your background to look like mine. Alright, so I'm layering black colored pencils on top of the Sharpie and that helps get some shadow in. So I'm doing this small section first so you can see it. Wherever I have my black Sharpie lines, I kind of just like to blend the colored pencil right over the Sharpie. And this gives us a lot more depth and value and all these other fancy art words that we couldn't normally get if um, we just used one color. So up to you, if you want to do this method, you can. If not, I totally understand. Give it a try though, I mean, see how it comes out. Um, and I cannot wait to see what your gnomes look like. 